What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about one from Severn Films, and it is Sinfonia Erotica by Jess Franco, of course. Beautiful uh, cover art, too. I really like that. Um, anyway, this movie uh, stars Lena Romay as Martine, who is a woman who's just been released from a mental institution. Um, she's coming home. Obviously, if you just got out of an asylum, you probably want some peace and quiet and tranquility, uh, which lucky, luckily for her, she lives on a plush, uh, you know, countryside estate. Perfect place to kind of let your mind relax and, you know, soak in nature. Unfortunately, uh, she's married to a marquee who is a sexual sadist and a very outlandish type of dude. So the odds of her getting any kind of peace and quiet are very low. Um, as soon as she gets back, she finds out that he's involved in a uh, love affair with another man and that he has also taken in a runaway nun who has arrived and would rather be uh, sexually explored and <laughs> sexually explored and violated rather than return to the convent. So obviously she's not going to get, you know, the, uh, serenity that she needs to let her mind, you know, kind of go back to normal. Um, things get even worse whenever the husband, the lover and the nun decide to work together and kill her which will give them access to her fortune and then they can really, you know, get some crazy sexual hijinks going. That's the basic plot here. Uh, but this is a uh, really cool Jess Franco movie. I really liked it. Um, one thing I like about it is that while it does have kind of a clear narrative and it does have a direction that it's also just kind of dreamlike. And honestly, I feel like this is like a work of art. I think it's a beautiful movie. I think like the soft focus visual is just fantastic. I love like the atmosphere is just like kind of eerie and unsettling, but it's also like super intense. It's just a strange movie. It's almost like a really poetic movie, uh, just with a ton of sex in it. And this movie does have a ton of sex, uh, full nudity from men and women. Um, it doesn't venture into hardcore, but there is a scene where uh, Lena Romay goes down on the nun and it's shown in pretty vivid detail. Uh, she's double fist and cocks at one point <laughs> and in another scene uh, the guys pretty roughly finger bang the nun while her crotch is bleeding there's some pretty wild stuff here uh, there's nudity throughout the whole movie it's pretty much almost constantly somebody's naked or getting into sexual hijinks of some kind so if you're squeamish toward that kind of thing um, probably not the movie for you doesn't have much violence aside from some sexual sadism and stuff like that um, not a lot of blood besides the aforementioned uh, rough fingering <laughs> that happens. Um, anyway, uh, Lena Romay is fantastic in this. Just the acting she does with her eyes and her facial expressions is amazing. Uh, it's just, it's so powerful. And it just, it's a perfect fit for this kind of like scary but beautiful vibe that this movie gives off. Um, Susan Hemingway is also here. Um, and she's really good as like this really weird sexually eccentric nun. Uh, the guys are okay too, but the women steal the show here for sure. Um, I really like this movie. I'm sure some people will just dismiss it as being like, oh, this is just a bunch of nudity and sleaze. But I actually think it's a really beautiful, artistic movie. I think it's the kind of thing that shows you the kind of skill that Jess Franco had as a filmmaker. And that even though it has, like, you know, a storyline, it doesn't, it's not slavish to it. And it also just lets the atmosphere and the characters and the performances you know, kind of tell the story as well. I think it's a, just a beautiful, dreamlike, really strange, poetic experience. I loved it. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I really had a good time with it. Uh, the Blu-ray from Severn Films has a new 4K scan of an uncut version. Uh, there is a disclaimer beforehand that kind of prepares you that, hey, this might not be the most pristine thing you've ever seen. But honestly, given that the movie seems like it was shot almost entirely with a soft focus, um, I think the detail was never going to be all that clear but i think this is a fantastic looking transfer i can't believe we live in an era where jess franco movies are given 4k scans period so this is like a dream come true um it's in uh spanish language with uh english sub optional english subtitles um so it's a really good treatment i mean the movie looks good and it, that's important because this movie has such beautiful visuals in my opinion anyway um as far as extras there's a short interview with jess franco and then there's also an interview with uh steven thrower who talks about other stuff um i'm really glad to have the uh, first hand stuff from jess frank i think that's a really cool inclusion so i think it's a really good blu-ray disc i think it's about as good of a treatment of this movie as you can expect much better than i think most uh people thought it would ever get i'm super happy that it's out i'm super happy that more people will get to see it and hopefully they'll appreciate it uh, so that's my review of symphonia erotica 
great movie in my opinion super fun super stylish super artistic just a beautiful haunting dripping with sex movie <laughs> that's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of uh, jess franco erotica lena romay just crazy unsettling beautiful artistic movies uh, so check that out you can read my full write-up of the movie at markfusion.com so there's tons of other seven films jess franco films and uh, all kinds of other stuff i'm also on instagram twitter twitch patreon all that kind of fun stuff Plus, I'm also on uh, Letterboxd. You can see what I'm watching there and get an idea of what might be coming to this channel soon. But the best thing you can do to help me out is just to hit that sub button. Free, easy, direct way to support me. Help me to continue to make these videos. Um, if you're bored and you want other stuff to watch, there's a ton of other uh, cult film reviews in this playlist, including just Franco titles, Severn Films titles. Checking out those old videos is a huge help to me as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon.